throughout the time. So, I, the, you know, that win with Noku was just... That set was two, amazing. Wow. <laughs> All right, but Miles not, you know, no slouch. He's definitely going to want to... He's definitely going to want his revenge on that. They both do. Both these players lost to Noku winners. Oh, damn. So this is... <laughs> I know I know Noku must be feeling really, really good about himself right now. No, Nick thinks he's playing bad today. <laughs> Even though he's in winners finals, he thinks he's, like, playing all right. Which is insane to me. Oh, that's tragic. Oh, no. All right. But, you know, it's all good. Miles being a really, really good player is not going to let that affect his, affect his morale. As you see immediately, he's just trying to take the stock. He can Chris. Needs to run away. He needs to run away with that with that advantage right now. Oh, no. oh my good guys. According to Maddie, they played. It was either a week or two ago when PK Chris won encore, and you know, seeing as PK Chris won that encore, he did beat Miles. Oh, hey, I mean, I've, I've been I've definitely been hearing good things about PK Chris. Miles taking the stock in such an aggressive fashion. He is angry. Oh, that down he is, is going to even up the game. Angry, yeah. Miles. 61% already. It's been like off three of hits. Three hits. Off of down air, up air, nair. Yoshi's insane. Yeah, good His upper character's string. damage output is ridiculous. Good upper string by Miles. Not letting PK Chris play his game. Immediately just shielding. And he's... Oh, my God. He's getting... Oh, I like the reverse egg to try and, like... To try, to try and spot that. You know, we've been talking a lot about West Chester popping off and people like Quidditch Miles being in all these big talks. Of Miles, like best play. that was just that was My such God. a good chase. He's hungry for the victory. Right, right now he is he is literally just running a train on PK Chris. He, he saw that as the and he was like, "All right, I need to turn up. I won't pay out. I'm not done here. I want to win." Oh yeah, and, and right now we see PK Chris, PK Chris trying to slow it down, trying to space Miles away, but he is he is he's just going at him. And now go, good back throw. 32%. Going at him a nothing. little bit too hard. I mean, there is such a thing as, you know, over over aggression, but if PK Chris can capitalize on that, this, this can be a whole different game. I like the weight just down tilting and let him, letting PK Chris fall off stage just so he can have time to, like, predict his next move. Exactly. Just have time to set yourself up to catch everything. That's something Miles is very good at. Is just setting himself up to catch your next move. He is oh, going in. Jumps in the way of the PK Thunder on He's gonna purpose. Double jump on right through it like it's nothing because he can. Miles coming back from from an SD. From a very early SD, that, coming back winning the game like it was nothing. That says a lot because what one thing that Miles knew. That he had to do is he has to just he had to just play a lot more aggressively, and he didn't give PK Chris any space to breathe at all. None. So maybe PK Chris, I, I don't know what stage they picked, but maybe he they went back to battle. Fair enough. Pretty good stage for both characters. No, yeah, for sure. I don't think stage is really an issue either for either of them. So I don't disagree with running the back. Good option to get back on stage. PK Chris with the falling down air. Putting on the pressure on Miles. Miles is going to fight his way right out of it. Oh, they're scrapping at this one, man. They've been scrapping this whole time. Oh my god, with the charge up. Unfortunately, not getting the stronger of it. I'm pretty sure that up smash just covered every tech option. His, it was positioned very, very well to do that. Like, if he, he neutral get up, he got hit. If he rolled out, he might have avoided it. If he get up attacks, he got hit. If he rolled in, he got hit. He's oh dead. Oh my god. Miles just running off stage with Chris. And this is and this is what Chris Chris needs to take needs to take uh take note of. But he cannot let Miles be on like he can't be off stage at the same time as Miles. Miles has proven that he is not afraid to go out there and he does not care about that PK Thunder. He will challenge him every single time. Chris needs to make that attitude. Mm -hmm, because that's just what Miles has to do. That's what you do against Yoshi. Or not against, against Ness. If they're off stage and they don't have their double jump, they're at their weakest. You gotta abuse that. Miles has been abusing the hell out of that. Yep, now 147%. We all know that back throw was coming. We all, we're all sniffing it. Or the back here. Nice shot by PK Chris. 2-2. Two, two. The <laughs> Oh, the chain. <laughs> Damage output. Oh my oh, god. Oh, he just died at like one or something. Another SD, but you know from last match, SDs don't matter to Miles. Yeah, he still has enough 
room left to bring this game back and win it. After that, very tragic death. But that now trade actually was just terrible. Oh my god, covering all the options. Oh, he still had his jump. Right, good recovery by PK Chris. I very good. Oh, that actually would have been... <gasps> Very good catch from Miles there. He's just hunting. Yeah. This he game is one Yoshi down our way from being even. <laughs> it's 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 crazy because that's so true. <laughs> it is. That move does 30. And without it, the game's still even. Miles is just exploding every time he gets a hit. He's just going off. He's chasing so hard and getting so much off of his neutral wins and his neutral interactions. He really is. If PK Chris isn't, really, isn't being allowed to do what he wants right now, unfortunately, he's... Miles is just really just going after him constantly. That I like that. I like that. Forcing Miles to air dodge to the platform to try and get something, but unfortunately wasn't able to, to succeed. Nice two frame from Miles. PK Chris gonna fight back and that's gonna be the game. Oh my Chris God! Jumping back in the sea, he was happy about that. It did come back to bite him, Miles. He got in his own height. He went down there with the nair, possibly trying to clip PK Chris, but PK Chris clutched it. Miles messed up. He missed time against the uppy. You can't miss time against that uppy. That's you the thing die. about yeah. That's the thing about going out going out there with Ness. Like yes, his recovery is exploitable. But there's that like fear telling you, hey, if you go out, you may die. But him having to recover there may be his weakest point. But when he gets the upbeat to connect, it's no longer at all his weakest point. Oh my god! If that second one's oh my <laughs> lord, he's still going. Oh <laughs> he's still going. He he's not he's he's not stopping. <laughs> Pika Chris has to find some distance between him and Miles right now. Has to put on the damage with the two fires. There you go. There's the damage that I'm wanting that I want to see. Yoshi's damage output is ridiculous. He's gonna jump through it again, yep. And you just gotta hold that. There's nothing you can really do about it. You just have to play yourself. Him, like him armoring through that PK Thunder is always fun. Good fair making big baiting Chris to, uh, to air dodge. Yeah, PK Chris doing a very good job at just pushing Miles back, but Miles finally breaks through and gets three up airs and it's just so much damage. I love the PK fire to the up here. This is where he needs to capitalize on Yoshi. Good oh, nair! Really there. And now right back to scrapping. Like nothing ever happened. Oh almost, my god. Almost. That almost could have been bad for both of them. But PK Chris, he's trying to challenge Miles' snare and fair too much. And this is why he's taking all this damage. He needs to kind of just stay, stay a little bit back, play it a little bit more patient. Oh my god, he hit down throw up there. I like the low recovery. So do I. Definitely. He's going low enough to where now it takes Miles even longer to get down there, so you have more time to get the up ready. And giving Miles less time to be able to punish you for it. Mm -hmm. And this is this is this is what I want to see from PK Chris. Just putting putting that space between him and Miles. Don't challenge that fair and, and Nair because it's Yoshi. That Nair is gigantic. <laughs> and Nair is insane. Ma wait for him to wait for him to make that move and then punish him with that. Oh, that was beautiful. Yeah, that was a very good catch from PK Chris. So was that back air, and now he has a lead in this game three. Miles is going deep for it. But, th but this, okay, so right there, that's that's that little fear right there. You know, now you're on your last stop. You can't play with that move. <laughs> you don't want to get hit with that right now. That could cost you the tournament now. This is the last stock potentially in the entire bracket if PK Chris clusters this out. And there but a nope, shield for Miles. Gonna trade with the grab, gonna get him a kill. But this is just a simple Yoshi combo away from, from being tied up. 13! 13! From one up there. So imagine if he got a string off of that. Good move by PK Chris. Very Just good. Just not trying to challenge him anymore. The, ad the, ad the adaptation has been fucking fantastic. Oh no. So much damage. So much damage. Stop oh getting hit God. by down throw up there. With the air dodge. 
Blaze Swords. You should know not to get hit by that. Come on, you're better than this, Chris. I know you're better than this, Chris. You know you're better than this. He may be, but you have to understand that he is under a lot of pressure right now. The way that Miles is conditioning uh, is conditioning him. Oh, wow. oh that could have been super bad. Bad. That was a very good air dodge, though. Miles is hungry. Oh, that's bad. Oh my god. Oh, that could have been it. Had it. And right now, Miles is the 102. Oh, it. drops out with the net. Does he take it? Yes, he does. Unfortunate for PK Chris. He messed up pretty bad at the end. It's tragic. Regardless, Miles played very solidly. PK Chris didn't even play.